This is the city. The city of Absalom. The city at the center of the world. Absalom is celebrating the Radiant Festival, a three-month festival of epic proportions held once every hundred years. The celebration attracts all types. Tourists, performers, merchants, inventors, as well as unsavory types, petty thieves, gangs, cults, and criminal enterprises. That's where we come in. We protect and serve. We are the agents of Edgewatch. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat, Agents of Edgewatch. I'm your GM and host, Steve Clicker, and in this week's episode, well, did they find Flak Fanner? And if they did, now what do they do with him? So everyone enjoys something specific in role-playing games. Everyone has their little thing. And for me, my favorite thing, my absolute favorite thing, which I get to do with these guys on the Agents of Edgewatch more than pretty much anyone else I play games with, is really long combats. Now, when I mean really long combats, I mean combats that go multiple sessions, that just keep going and going and going. The reason is because there's kind of a rhythm and a pace to them, because you don't just have, oh, here come some big guys. No, you have like... The small guys come, and then medium bosses come, and then some more fodder comes, and then the big bad boss comes, and so forth and so forth. If you ever listen to the Dead Sons Adventure Path, we had a combat that went on for two months. That's my all-time favorite. That thing was insane. That had so many layers and just kept going and going and going, and it really stretched them to their limits. I once had these guys actually fight an entire level of a dungeon and they just kept running and bleeding encounters until they killed everything and if you remember back when they were in that dungeon attacking the cult headquarters that was something like five encounters they bled and i myself i don't bleed them all at the same time i bleed them one at a time so they come in waves and I love when that happens. It's just so much fun. It really challenges them. It makes the fight dynamic. And I know for a fact they love it too. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's going to be happening again. So sit down, get comfortable, because it's going to get kind of crazy in the next couple of episodes. I will say that towards the end of all the insanity... There is a thing that happens that I've never seen before that was genius and probably in my top five favorite things ever. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'll talk about it when it occurs. But I personally love these uh, really long combats because it causes the PCs to really be careful with their resources, be careful with positioning, and even just managing themselves throughout a battle. It's almost like a video game in a way. Like if you're playing an MMO and you have like a certain amount of mana, like you can't just like use all your best spells right away. You can't just go crazy because you realize like if you use everything and all your fireballs and your chain lightning right in the beginning, you might need it for later. So it really causes quite a bit of consternation for the PCs. And for me as a GM, I have so much fun sort of maintaining the ebb and flow and the cadence of these type of combats. It's awesome. Also, I do want to mention there's only one week left in the Kickstarter by the time this comes out, and it's going to get crazy. The last week, we're going to do multiple shows. I'm at least planning on doing multiple shows. So if you want to go to youtube.rollforcombat.com, I'm getting some really cool guests, some who have been on the show before, some that are brand new. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stretch goals, including the 13th Ancestry, Centaur. So if you want to see that... And once again, there's gigantic savings. Like, the savings are so big, I think people might not realize. The savings are actually more than some of the tiers cost. That is accurate. The savings for these tiers is enormous. Hundreds of dollars because, again, I'm kind of trying to do this all at once. I have a plan of basically bulk buying everything in the beginning getting it cheaper and then having it shipped over and then shipped out right away. 
because we're doing that we're able to get it much cheaper than if we're buying it individually and piecemeal so again a lot of this has to do with coordination and a lot of this has to do with if you're going to pledge now the savings are going to be gargantuan compared to later again you can get stuff later and i'll try to have some savings in there but you're not going to get the savings like you're getting now with the tiers the tiers really give you huge huge savings plus you get a whole bunch of things that you just can't get anywhere else that are completely Kickstarter exclusive. They're not going to be sold even after Kickstarter ends, so keep that in mind. Again, just go to Eldemon.com or Kickstarter.RollForCombat.com. You can type in pretty much anything that RollForCombat.com. You type in your name, that RollForCombat.com, and that works too. All of it redirects to the Kickstarter, so check that out. Again, it ends in one week. Also, do check out the YouTube channel because we're going to have a whole bunch of YouTube guests. Check that out, just YouTube.RollForCombat.com. And of course, enjoy the massive battle. It's going to get a nuts. Let's check it out. Last we left off, you figured out how to get through the hallway of silence. I don't even remember how you did it, but you did it. You sent the angel. The angel did some stuff. And someone snuck in and dismantled it, and you're in. And then you found the stabbing beast. It would look like a normal human just a regular human with a scorpion tail he told you to leave you didn't listen and then he turned into a 15 foot scorpion monstrosity and somehow by luck of the gods i don't know how you beat this thing but you won and it was hairy with a capital h you should not have won but you did and now it's dead and now norgaber knows who you are because he was an aspect of Norgaber. And he's like, oh, someone killed one of my buddies. And he knows who you are. So you're in his book. You're in the little book. But this is it. You're almost at the end. Flak Fatter, after going through this torturous, horrible temple, you keep getting invited to the worst parties. Every party you go to, you end up fighting. And here you are fighting again. Finding flak batter, and then you can leave. But the only problem is you actually have to get out, and we'll see what happens. Go. All right. Uh, just a uh, question. Oh, you're all heavily damaged except Gomez, who's totally fine. Yeah, we're all heavily damaged. I saw them originally when I opened up the doors and got triggered every trap, every trap to face. I saw a flak fatter go mm -hmm. in the, one of these doors. It was the north mm. or the south door. Mm. Which one was that? Mm. I don't know. Is that a whiz? That's an intelligence check. Uh, I'm asking the angel because the angel saw that too. The angel's like, oh, I was not paying attention at that time. Oh, how, he's so evil. How could you not watch that guy, Angel? You were you were shaking a uh, you were like on one of my shoulders, trying to give me good advice, and you weren't paying attention. Uh oh, so, so you're telling me that when my mother, all those times my mother told me, "Don't be naughty because the angels are watching," that was a lie. Yeah, I, that was a lie. That was absolutely a lie. No, that was not a lie. I was watching Dougie. That is why I didn't see where Flakfatter went. Maybe I should be watching the other shoulder instead. Maybe I should be paying attention to that shoulder. I think it was the south door, oh, if I God. remember. All right. And Dougie thinks it's the north door. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I tell my... Lady or the tiger? My friend my friends that i don't want to be blamed for this we gotta heal though yeah let's spend uh some time healing oh uh, gomez i can't see your health are you damaged i'm, I'm fine okay. i'm fine all right so i mean we could do the five do you have assurance anyone uh, i don't know if anyone does anyone have insurance but doesn't basil basil has insurance. doesn't matter sure no i have assurance does any? I, I thought someone had assurance on their their healing. Somebody does. I have assurance on medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I have assurance on medicine. I have assurance on acrobatics. I have insurance on medicine. Well, I could do the ten minute heal for two people. That, that's there's only one percent or a five percent chance of failing. 
I can do it on all four of us. Yeah, and he gets. Oh. A, he has a twenty-five on his insurance. So, hand wave heal. Okay, so sure. well, all right. Sure, whatever. Hand wave heal's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, you spend some time, and there's the stabbing beast. I don't know if the stabbing beast has any gear on them, as their giant scorpion. The answer is no. <laughs> the scorpion has no gear on them, so ah, I want gear. Well, you can take part of the scorpion if you want. Surprised he's not just. I thought he's not. Wasn't he like from another plane? Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell if he disappears or not. Yeah, he. I think we talked about that last time. We did. I don't like, even know if it. We'll just say sure he disappears. Yeah, he actually. Gomez was going to dispel him, but we've done so much damage. Uh, I think he probably does dispel. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. He's something in between. So He's so powerful. As an aspect of God, he might just hang out, even if you kill him. Mm. All right. Well, when Gomez heals, I think we'll be ready to go. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm healed. And I'm not, I don't participate. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I, I mean, Basil. I Do we want to Basil. mess with the statue at all? Yes, Basil does. I do. <laughs> I think we want to search for secret doors. It's really funny. Statues either come to life or they rotate and open up into something. <laughs> it's one or the other. It's A or B. Exactly. <laughs> I, I am exactly. going to take a quick look at the statue. And... Okay, this one rotates and comes to life at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this is quite the statue. Let's see. This is an obsidian statue. That depicts Venom Fist, a water elemental servitor of Norgaber, comprised of various liquid poisons. The figures being drowned depict three sacrifices that reputedly called Venom Fist forth. The robust sailor, the sickened drunkard, and a priest of Gozred. The cloth that you found that was draped around the head of the priest of Gozred was an elven woman carved with a look of despair in her face. So basically, it is the statue of a menacing water elemental drowning three life-size figures. And this figure was Vedemfist, an aspect of Norgaber, and was killing three various sacrifices. There you go. And one of them was a priest from another religion. So nice guy. There's hmm. nothing like on the statue or anything like that. I mean, you got you got that cloak of elven kind. Actually, Dougie got it on the roll off. So. Oh, that's right. I remember that. <laughs> so, yeah. That, okay. So you know what? I'm going to uh, search for uh, hidden panels. Okay. Spend some time. You're looking. You're searching. You're kicking it. You're banging it. You're knocking it. Nothing. Nothing. And more nothing. Hmm. One of these days, Lomang will get some loot. It'll be nice. Uh, well, there... it's not my fault you missed the roll-off. I know. It's not your fault. I blame the party. <laughs> Lomang, if Ow. you go out the hallway and hit the door to the south, you will find something. Nice. Is it a room full of gold? <laughs> yes, it is. It's a big <laughs> chest trapped, and there's no guards. I like the sound of that. I'm going to listen to this doorway to the north east i believe the angel is wrong and i will listen to the figure on my other shoulder you hear absolutely nothing i'm gonna check for traps no traps all right i'll stand back because i'm a little worried well uh, you can open that one i'm now going to search this one i'm gonna listen to this one and check for traps all right i'll back you up you hear nothing in the southern door. And there's no traps. You search for traps. No traps. And you find a trap. Does he oh. really? <laughs> you finally, oh. finally found. Oh my god. The I false feel like. Uh, trap. I step away. The I feel like. The needle that delivers magical poison when anyone tries to open the door. You know this one well since you've fallen for it. Three times. <laughs> I'm, I'm yelling at the angel. Angel, you sent me to the trap. You silly angel. Wow. Dougie actually found a trap the easy way. I I feel like 
feel like the character at the end of Shawshank Redemption. I am just, I, 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 I feel like I've. Then made... again, Fleckfelder may have hidden behind the trap door for extra safety. The only way we'll know is if you open it. That's for sure. So. Well, you can just able it. I think. I, I think those doors are false, though. They don't go anywhere, right? Yeah, I'm not going to try to disable it. That <laughs> no man can do that. Or no, no, I'm not. So, I'm not very good at that. No, then that's that's going to. I'm 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 going to open up this one on the top. Okay. Trap to face. You open up the door, and this is what you see. You see in front of you a small shrine room features an alcove in the southern wall, where a statue of a grinning male dwarf in a long white smock forcibly feeds a smoking potion to a bound human female. A shelf below the statue contains several golden chalices. A thick pallet and a sturdy chest lie in the room's northeastern corner. In addition, you see a stern-looking man, a spitting image of the statue of Jonas Flackfatter. You have finally, finally found him. He is standing by the statue, staring at it. And he turns around and he says to you, well, that's a disappointment. Yeah, we have that effect. We get that a lot. We get that a lot at the station. Uh, I'll, I'll battle cry, Flackfatter, you're under arrest. It's like assuming that this is going to be a combat. Well, I, I, I'm waiting for him to react in combat. Are we in combat? Nope. I move there. He, he, he actually just, he puts his hands up. He, yeah, he, you're okay. He puts his hand up. You see the middle-aged man matching the description of Jonas Flackfatter, the infector. And he stands near the statue in this room. He turns to you and puts his hands behind his head. Well, you've caught me now, haven't you? He says coolly, his gravelly voice tinged with mock surprise. A small smile creeps across his face. I surrender myself to your custody, officers. Best take me away. Wait a minute. He's a little too happy about this. This is, this is, this is hilarious, actually. This is very, very funny. Because who is going to actually put the cuffs on him? <laughs> <laughs> Basil, we have a job for you. Basil, you have to get in there. I'll, I'll slap some manacles on him. Yeah, you have oh, to wait. get... Step away from the statue. Okay. Hands! Hands! Yeah, no, no false moves. Hands are behind your back. Get on your knees. He stands. He... he, he, he. Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Hands! Hands! <laughs> okay, he moves four or five feet, and he looks at you, and he just sort of gives you this look like he's not going to get on his knees, but he puts his hands behind his back and turns towards Basil to let you... I'll do the manacles and also do the essentially the equivalent of pat him down for weapons. Yeah. Okay. You pat him down, and other than his high priest robes, his religious symbol of Norgaber, he does have a dagger on him. But that's it. All right, we're taking you in to answer for the uh, the poison attack on the Aurorium, among other things. I don't like this. I don't like, I like this. It. I, know, I know it would be nicer <laughs> to just have a fight and then beat him. Like, yeah, you know, I, that, no, that, would, that would make me feel so much more secure. We're <laughs> gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get there. It's just how we're gonna get there. Well, man, you're on top of a treasure chest area. Like, there's a bunch of stuff in the northeast corner. Why don't you open that stuff? Like, I don't want to move away from the door because I don't want this guy to run away. Well, we we have him all tied up, right? Well, you put manacles on him, man. God uh, damn, this guy's gonna is, turn gaseous. He I know is, he is. He's completely obeying you. He's uh -huh. not saying anything, but he uh -huh. is being completely complicit. And there's pictures of what he looks like I put in the handouts. Ooh. Well, it's in general chat, sorry. Hmm. This guy does not look like a Norgerberger. It's uh... Doctor Strange. Yeah, he's all, he's all fancy. Yeah, yeah. He actually looks exactly like Doctor Strange. Yeah. He does. Oh, boy. Well, man, check through that stuff. I check through that stuff. 
all the all the it, it has been it's, it's funny i made a comment it has been so long since uh perpetrator actually came quietly i forgot what the procedure is i know wait <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's been true. so long <laughs> Does he have rights? Or is, there, is there such? Probably not. <laughs> I don't think Galarian, the the Miranda law has reached Galarian. Just yeah, 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 yeah. He has Guilty. the right not to be killed, but he may be subdued for the court of law. Yes, he's guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, and actually, here, there's another statue here. Yes, in the south. Sorry. What? Say again. Sorry. There's sorry. another. There's a statue down here. Well, yeah, the statues in the south cove here. I think we should check that. I'm not good at checking things, but I'll check. Okay, I'll check it, but you stand where where I am. Okay. Just walk in the door. This guy is going to turn gaseous. First of all, close the door. Close the door. All right, I close the door. And, like, stuff a rag underneath it. <laughs> ah, I don't, I'm not worried about gaseous. <laughs> oh, all right, well. So there's there's some shelving, and there's the there's like a chest. That's what's in this room. All right, so, so I'm going to check out the statue for traps. The statue or secret compartment. is a depiction of an alchemist that basically looks like a grinning male dwarf with a long smock, and it's forcibly feeding a smoking potion to a bound human female. And oh, that's, that's it. That's I, it. I don't say this out loud, but Gomez is actively thinking, oh, man, I want to just off this guy and plant a wand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh look, yeah, right in this pocket. Yes. <laughs> no, we need information from him. Hopefully. Uh, what What is this dagger? Can you do some uh, inspection of uh, this dagger that he has on him, Basil? I'll do a quick check to see if the dagger might have any magical properties to it, or poison. Oh, God, yeah, it's like insane. This is a plus one spell storing dagger. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It, like, allows you to cast a spell from the dagger, basically. Yeah. If you could normally cast that spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's an Orgabur spell, so it's worthless to you guys. I'm going to let you guys have this one. Well, you got to bring it in. You don't get to keep that. That's oh, evidence. okay. All right. Um, <laughs> That's evidence. That's property. All right. I'm going to search these shelves for traps or booby traps or... Okay. You search the shelves, and there's tons of notes... And as you flip through it, these are detailed plans of Absalon's water system and how to introduce an ingestible version of Blackfinger Blight into the Absalon water system. Oh my god, you're so much trouble now, buddy. Oh man, that is that's against the law. Very detailed, extremely detailed notes. Everything you don't want to have found by officers of the law. Wow. And that's on the shelf. Um, okay, we'll take that He just that sort stuff. of looks at you and goes, hmm, like that. Like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem very concerned. Yeah, right? he doesn't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for diplomatic immunity. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for diplomatic immunity. I'm waiting Something's for, he's, going he's on. got connections. All of this stuff, though, it, it would make sense, though, because cause this, this whole, this whole uh, uh, convention that they have here, Ah, uh, jeez. I mean, they have to have some kind of in with the government to be able to yes. get away with this sort of stuff as much as they do. He's the head priest of the Norgamer, the god, who is a real god. See, this is the thing. Imagine you lived in a world where everyone knows that gods are real, and gods have the powers of gods. And this guy literally has the ability to speak to an evil god at will. He has a lot of flag. He has a lot of pull. He yeah. has a lot of connections. And more importantly, you're arresting that guy. That's basically, you just arrested, like, John Gotti. You know, like, you just arrested Corleone. Like, good luck. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, never mind arresting John Gotti. Maybe not Gabriel. Maybe not Michael. But definitely one, one of the cherubim. We just freaking offed it a second ago so yeah. there's that yeah. too yeah yeah like we, we literally yeah. killed it like like, yeah. like the equivalent of an angel like we killed it yeah. so this yeah. so there's that also yeah. well it, it's more well, i think gomez actually killed it and i was proud to be here when <laughs> gomez killed this oh this representative norgerberger i was just amazing to watch him do that that was very proud of it yeah. You guys are like, oh, we had nothing to do with it. We were just <laughs> watching it at the time. So when Divine Justice comes out for him, go after that guy. 
Leave us alone. Not me. Yeah. Here, I, I, I'll, I'll go over here, you know, and just stay away from Gomez. At least I'm going to keep a 10 feet, feet distance from Gomez's uh, okay. position just in case. <laughs> You're just waiting for like. When, when, when we the, return through the dungeon. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's still it, it the, does the... it does make, make me do it does make me want to get religion a little bit. Like like we should have because because we should have some counterbalancing force on our side. We should get a, like angel. angel. I, I, I like, have like, a god. I, I do have a god. What, what, this, this, this... I got my angel and <laughs> hey, oh, the angel's so excited. The angel, the angel's loving this. Yeah, but yeah, you're, like that, like that, like who's that an angel of? Like that angel works for who? Oh, the angel maybe. loves this. The angel's like, yeah, yeah, you got him, you got him. Who's that? Who's that angel's god? Oh, is that yeah? Is that an angel of a specific god? Or? Yeah. Uh, um, no, they're just actually. Th- this angel is probably not. It's a force of good. They're a celestial, and they are just good in general. They don't specifically represent Free, a, freelance angel. Yeah, basically freelance a Ronin, angel. a Ronin angel. There you go. I worship Aiden Kayleen, by the way. So I do have my god consultant, angel consultant. Just comes, yes. comes in, comes into various religions. Well, celestial angels are are basically like creatures, and they're just creatures of good. And I think they get hired by gods of good. So, like, if you're a god and you're good and you need to hire someone, you go to the angel place and you get them. Same way the bad guys, they go to the devil place and they get them. There you mm. go. They have agency. Seasonal yes. seasonal employees? Yes, basically. <laughs> in a way. Well, they got to come from somewhere. Did we actually turn off the traps for in that hallway? I can't remember. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we did. You okay. Did. <laughs> and I remember because I was worried he was going to turn them back on, but no, he just actually decided to kind of just accept. I feel talent. like we are missing something really big. I'm going to search this south wall behind the statue for okay. for secret doors. Yep, you find this... something. Oh my god! Of course. Oh, thank nice. you. It just feels like we're missing something. You find tucked under the shrine a small cask marked. With a fanged skull. All right, Dougie goes. Gomez, thanks for finding this cask. Oh, it's closed. It's it's closed. <laughs> it's closed. You you can open it. That's probably the poison, I guess. Right? What is this? Okay, so yeah, this will probably be the, be the poison. Gomez, when you turn this Me? guy in, yeah, when you turn this guy in, you'll want to give the chief this uh poison this is probably the poison that we're he wants to put in the water system uh i'll check it for traps i'll i'll be i'll be i'm gonna check for traps it looks like a very simple box does not seem to be trapped there's no way there's a trap i open it in the small room with everybody here (laughs) (laughs) the perfect place Black Fatter's just, just, he's just smiling the whole time. Just like big old he, grin. You know, because they're all crazy. They're all crazy when we arrest them. They're, they're, they're just there all bad There is men. necromatic slime in here. That's all you can tell. Well, you that's all right. You'll here need to you bring go. that to the lab to figure out more, more about it. Here you go, Basil. Basil, oh, Basil's our walking lab. He's our walking flying lab. Do I know anything about, I'm going to do a knowledge check. Do I know anything about necromatic slime? That's actually a good question. Let's see. Very good for your pores. Well, not if you don't if you don't want to live very long. Yeah, it opens up your pores wide. Wide. Open. Yeah, it's very wide. <laughs> uh, hold it on. exfoliates okay. all the skin off your off your skeleton. Yeah, excellent. Yes, yes, it exfoliates everything. This is one of the key ingredients to the black finger blight. And Whoa. this is a concentrated version. It's used, and this is like the key ingredient. You probably don't want to touch it. Yeah, we got to get rid of this. We ought to dump it in the sewer nope. or something. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. dump it. That's really good. <laughs> dump it's it like, in the water supply. Yeah. That'll get rid of it. <laughs> we'll flush it down the toilet. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Can we put it in the extra match in the uh, bag of holding for now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So at least it's safe. Nothing, to... nothing will happen to it. Okay. okay, let's see. And there's still the chest you never looked at. Oh, uh, check for traps. No traps. Mm-hmm. All right, Dougie will open it again. Inside the chest, 
you find changes of clothes, toiletries, yeah, sundries, yeah, and other supplies. Looks like he can hang out here for several weeks. Huh. Well, it literally was his luggage. Yeah. Huh. We're going to have to going somewhere? I'm gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to search for a secret compartment. There's no way. No way. Where? Why would you have your... You do the whole TSA, dumping yeah. it out, yeah. like, patting it around. And Shake like, it like a present. This can't be it. That's all there is to it, baby. Uh, There's nothing else there. Okay. Where's this guy's money? Where's this guy's money? Does not add up. How about we search his person? We did. Did we do that? We, we did got, that. Okay. He has nothing on him except oh, his robe. This doesn't make Black sense. Black Panther, uh, were you going somewhere in a hurry? He just looks at you and just goes, mm. he's not talking. You need to answer <laughs> our questions. It's required. Silence is not an option. He looks at you and just laughs. <laughs> he's crazy. He's crazy. Don't even bother. Yeah, he's crazy. What, so give me a refresher. What's actually our mission? Your mission is to find him, arrest him, and bring him back. Now, you were, you were given this from basically the president, okay? The president of Absalon gave you this mission. Right. So is, it, so is this like a uh, – is this going to be like a uh, – remember the gauntlet? Is this going to be like a reverse escort mission? Like, we have to get him out here. We're going to get attacked all the time. We, have to we get did him out pass a lot of doors. Guess we're going to find out, huh? We passed a lot of doors. You got in. Now you got to get out. Yeah, so maybe maybe that's what we should focus on. Yeah. Get, get him out. Do we, do we have all the loot? Do we have, do we have all the... This door. I'm going to try to disable this device over here in, in the other room, this lower door. That's actually your roll. I don't roll that. So, oh, okay. It's an open roll. Disabled device is an open... Uh, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. weird. Nah, it's actually fun, because this way you get to see how close you are. <laughs> and plus, let's see, oh, 26. I rolled a three. I rolled a you three. Roll a three. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to do this. I got to check to see what happens. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're blowing out of your living so. Uh, the good news is you fail, but you don't set it off. All right. You're trying to jam the needle in its housing. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm gonna try to do that again. Okay. I'm gonna try it again. Can I do that or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thirty, <laughs> not quite. On. You're like, you're like, ah, I can't quite get it. I need, I need, I need smaller fingers. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Boy, this is like a half hour. I've been doing this now. <laughs> no, not really. Oh my 25. god, I rolled a two. Well, I rolled you're, a you're three, close, a seven, and off. a two. <laughs> you're, you're, you almost set it off. Not quite, though. Not quite. Oh, try yeah. this again. What are you trying to do? Anything. Anything my stupid character can do, I'm trying to do. <laughs> Can't do much. He's trying to deactivate a trap. Oh a my oh, there we god. Go. <laughs> Now I roll a five. You fail again. Uh, it was you're, breaking, just... you're breaking picks every time. Too. You know, you're running out of picks. You're like every time, like broken pick, broken pick, broken pick, broken. You're like, you like keep breaking their picks over and over again. Yeah. What what we're doing is like we're gonna wait. It's not gonna be the gauntlet. We're gonna wait till all the other monsters die of old age before I actually get this thing disabled. You haven't been down here for several. Oh, that's a good roll. Uh, oh. <laughs> God, it's another five. I All right. number five. It's one of my Come on, numbers. you're getting the bad rolls out of the way, though. Roll an eight. That's, my, that's another roulette number. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm 34. You I'm did up, it. You I'm did up it. to 11. Okay. You did it. Click. God. Yeah, you disabled the easiest it. trap in the world. Yep, you disabled it. Oh. You can open the door now. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, it's disabled. I'm going to open up the door. You open up the door. It goes to a wall. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to search that wall for secret doors. There's no secret doors. It's a brick wall. It's okay. a, it goes nowhere. Hey, oh. I, see, I see a secret door. All right. Well. Is there a secret door here? <laughs> nope. It looks like there is, though. No, oh, it's no. just the way the map is drawn. There's no secret door to the north. Mm. You're there kidding. are rooms we haven't been in. Yeah, there are rooms you have not been Many to. Many rooms, I, actually. So it's been a very long time. I'm looking back. Let me re rephrase what happened. Is that Starborn, who runs Absalom, basically gave you the order, 
because now it's getting serious that they had informants telling you that Flak Fighter left town. And normally he's always at this noxious retort because it's his favorite, you know, thing. However, rumors are that he didn't leave town and you're to find him, arrest him, and bring him in because obviously he was probably going to try something else after the first time he failed to kill everyone. And sure enough, you found evidence that looks like you, they were right because he was going to try to poison the entire water supply. So you have now taken him in. He seems to not putting up much resistance. Actually, none whatsoever. And you are to bring him in. And there'll be people waiting outside, like, as soon as you leave with him. And you'll throw him in the paddy wagon and take him out. Now, there was people nearby in the skies waiting for you as soon as you exit with him. And you can be, like, officers now. Like, leaving, you can be officers. In fact, probably... Rep probably like, show our badges. Yeah, yeah. Badges. If anything, you should probably be proud of it instead of hiding yeah. it because then people might freak out. If anything, you know, you could just say he's under arrest and make a big show of it. And as soon as you leave, you should be fine. So basically, you made it in. Now you got to get out. <laughs> and the goal is to get to the second floor out those front doors. Go. Well, well man, do you want to hold on to him while we go? Because you're probably, you or me should grapple him because we're the strongest. Well, I think I think what we need to do is take. We have rope, right? I have rope. I don't know. Tie well, I have rope. actual manacles. Either yeah, way. so we yeah, manacles. Manacle. Oh, okay, all right, all but, right. Uh, but, uh, but in terms of rope, though, we take rope, tie it around his waist, and then I'll I'll like hold on to it like a leash. Tie it around his neck, like a proper <laughs> leash. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I I guess we're leaving. So I'll, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll uh, I will uh, I'll I'll actually tie it around my waist too, and I'll leave. Let's say. 20 feet of slack. Okay. You know what? And actually, for marching order, Dougie will be about 20 feet in front of him, Black Fatter. Okay. So I'll open the door's way. I'll get a scope of any room that we go through. So let's see. It's going to be Dougie, then Black Fatter, then Lomang, then Basil, then Gomez. Yeah. Is that the marching order I see? That sounds good. I guess that works. Okay. Do you want me to just move for Dougie? Yeah, you move, and I'm just going to assume everyone's conga lying behind you. And I'm just going to start with my bow out. I, I expect once we're dragging their boss out in manacles, we're going to just, we're done talking with people. All right. And, oh, I'm going to open up this door. No. Um. Oh, that... <laughs> there could be something behind the door. You never know. Okay. I oh, up, you're back into the room with the poison bathtubs. Yep. And the flag fighter's just following along with all of you, and he just is like smiling, laughing to himself, singing songs. All right. Pretty the much. tall, the long hallway, whose two north doors we haven't checked out. Nope. I think, did we get? Wait a minute, I think they were traps. I can't remember. Do, nope. do, nor, do nor number cultists uh, sing 99 bottles of poison instead of 99 bottles of beer? Yes. All right. Well, it's up to you guys. Do you want to open up these doors? I, I, I'm thinking no. Right. I think we need to get this guy yeah, out. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not. Yeah. Let's not open up anything new. Let's try to just All get right. out of here. Oh, I know the way out. Ah. Uh... Oh, uh, Steve. Do you have a list of what spells we have and haven't cast? Because it's been several no. sessions. No. No idea. That's you guys. Because yeah, I think I still have invisibility. Speed. Stop. <laughs> Stop, Dougie. I think I use my personal invisibility, but I think I still have invisibility sphere. Yeah, it's really up to you guys. That would be hot. Yeah. As soon as you get halfway through, you're in that room with the rats and those two unconscious people. And as soon as you get halfway through the room, the door to the north opens and out fly people. Are these the guys that were playing cards earlier, probably? These are the guys who were playing cards. Hold on. Because if you remember, I mean, granted, it, it was like a month and a half ago, but when we first came down, we heard people playing cards in the one room, and we just kind of avoided them. We eschewed them. Well, they're about to eschew us back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So as soon as you get into that room, this is what happens. You get into the room. You're halfway through. Dougie's 20 feet ahead. The door opens up, and Jonas says, Get him, boys! 
Roll for combat! Poison Eater number two goes. Poison Eater? That, what, what kind of card player is that? Poison Eater. Poison Eater. He's like, he's got... The boss! Get him! Get him, boys! Get him! And they're, like, totally frenzied, like, foaming at the mouth. They're like, oh! This guy is charging at you. I don't see anybody in the room, but just so you know. Boom! There we go. <laughs> this guy now is running full Jeez. force. Full force. He opens the door and moves that far? No, the door was, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, well, it's 25. Mm. That's two actions. Dang. And he is in a poison eater frenzy. That's right. He's in a frenzy. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember if these are the guys that also blow up when they die. Or well, if these just or if out. these are just the grunts. And this guy has a maul out and he is going to attack you with his maul, Dougie. Oh, does a 38 yes, hit you? It hits. Okay. He does 17 points of damage. Plus... Uh, hold on. There's a whole bunch of things. Wait. Blah, blah, blah. Poison for one one frenzy against... Uh... Okay. So here's the thing. Good news. He only did... He does 18 points of damage to you. As he's in the frenzy, and he's like foaming at the mouth, going nuts. I'll give him a uh, give him a little rat. I've never used that before. As he does damage to you, and he just seems to like be absolutely out of his mind. Basil, you're up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to devise a stratagem against Poison Eater Number Two. Okay, you may devise your stratagem. And a twenty-seven. Ugh. Well, if it's Bo, it's 26. Yeah, and I don't see any other guys in range. So uh, I guess I went in the room. I guess I will cast. What's this guy wearing? Uh, he I'm... is wearing chainmail. He's got a maul and daggers. He can have some electric arc then. Okay. Why do I have two different versions of electric arc? That's weird. I don't know. Might have been a mistake. Probably cast the same spell. Reflex saving throw, huh? Reflex. Reflex is uh, 17 points of damage. Ouch! And that's my turn. Okay. And you get to see the new... You get to see something I don't know if you've ever seen before. You see, they're not red. They're not yellow. They're not green. He is purple. Purple means he has so many extra hit points because he is in battle frenzy mode. Ugh. Oh, no. Gomez is up. Battle Frenzy mode doesn't sound like a good thing. It's good for them. I think it's good for you, though. All right, I'm going to do I'm gonna do something wacky. Oh, boy. Is it I, method I, summoning? Yeah, I'm going to... It's too many actions. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready to do something wacky. I'm going to take charge of the prisoner. I'm going to move next to him. And... So remember, he's roped to me, so you, may, you can use an action to untie the rope from me. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 tie, I'll tie him to me. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'll say that's gonna... two actions. One to that, untie. That's fine. Like, one like, so I take yeah. my whole yeah. round. I, I move up. Yep. And I release Lomang. Take, I, I, I take Lomang off the leash, and I put myself on the leash. Good, good. I like that. Because I was gonna waste the time for me. Is that door open? Yeah. Oh, no. Open. Can I? Do I have visibility into that, or uh... am I too far away? Uh, hold on. It might be Actually, too far away. Uh, let me oops, let me open up the door. Sorry about that. There we go. Sorry, I didn't open up the door on the map. Uh, the door is open, and you can see guys in there. They're all coming. Yeah, we got coming to get you. There's several uh, guys in there's, there. There's there's another poison eater, and he's running, and he's just like he's just running and running and running, and then he gets uh, almost up to flock fatter. It's there. He's right next to him. He's like, I'm here to save you, boss. I'm here to save you. And then out comes this other guy. And this guy, he, uh, he appears a little bit more serious than the other one. It's a whole poker table worth of bad guys. <laughs> pretty much. There has to be at <laughs> least five of them in there. <laughs> so, pretty much. guy has... A leather armor on, religious symbol, 
and he has a composite short bow out. But rather than firing it, I think he's going to do something else. I think he's going to cast a spell. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We're getting into bum's rush here. What happened? (laughs) You're all under arrest! Because they they knew you were coming. It's almost as if there was a secret way for him to tell them that... You stop, bro. Coming. You'll stop again. Yeah, well, uh, let's see. He cast... Oh, I want, I see a statue at the very top end of the room. I wonder if the statues could talk to each other or something. Maybe. I mean, Maybe. I, I, just, I mean, it's in line of sight. I'm just that was wondering. a good one. That was a good one. Who currently has the rope? Gomez? You yeah, got I'm tied to him now. You get the spell. Ooh. Phantasmal Killer. Oh my God! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> what? It's it's not that bad. Oh, that's right. It's a terrible, terrible yeah, yeah, it's spell. Awful. It's awful. Will save. Well, you probably have the best chance of uh, beating this. It's in fact is it, in in fact is it not the worst possible thing? I think it's actually literally the worst possible thing. Like like that's the fan, fan, like the, your your most dire fear comes to kill you. And yes. you spent two actions to get this. <laughs> well, yeah. what did it? Will save. Will save. Who cast that, by the way? The guy to the north? Yeah, this Herbal yeah. Nushko. Terrible. Oh. 28. Failure. Yep, yep. All right, so what happens? Hero point, maybe? Well, you take 12 D6 points of damage. Uh. 41 points of damage. Oh my god. And you are frightened too. That's actually not so bad for you cuz frightened just gives you minus 2 to everything. Yeah. You're not really fighting anyone. Good thing you didn't crit fail cuz if you crit fail, you die. <laughs> if you if something happens. The phantasmal killer kills me. Yeah, like you basically you have to do a fort save. And if you don't and you run away. That would have been even funnier. Like you run away with black <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're like, ah! Dougie, you're finally up. I'm going to delay my action until Lomang. Well, the poison eaters oh. else. Oh. oh my god, that I did not expect. I gotta get flanking. Poison eater number one! Frenzy! <sighs> 5, 10, 15, 20. We're getting 25. overrun here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 10. It's like running. He's running 15, 20, 25. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. That's better. Well, man, these guys are like totally foaming at the mouth. They have their mauls out. I I feel like we have to. I feel like we have to retreat, Dougie. We are retreating. That's the whole point. The whole point is to retreat the hell out of here. I mean, the thing is, like, I can't come up and help flank you. There's two down here on on our weak underbelly. Well, yeah, but I would just move and attack whichever one. Literally, uh, if oh, oh, God, here. that would literally be the only square that I couldn't get flanking on. Why would you? Why would you do that? Yeah, but Gomez has flanking. Gomez has flanking. Oh, okay. Gomez, as long as Gomez and, and you are getting flanking, that's perfect. That's perfect for me. My 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 teeth are chattering, and that is a threat. Everyone, well, everyone is a threat. By the way, in this game, we have you're gonna have to come down and help. Like we can't. You'll you'll be able to get flanking with the uh, battle. I need it now. <laughs> Uh, an attack. Now you can't be attacked with attack of opportunity. Is that we're using your thing? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Who are you attacking? Uh, flanking with Gomez, attacking that guy. Got it. Well, uh, I have I have amazingly good news for you. Is that a crit? Yes, you crit. Is it really? Yes. I didn't yeah, say their okay. AC is okay, very oh, high. Yeah, because they're very like forgetting about their their. their, their they're in the battle the frenzy wind. mode, so he's right, very so, easy to hit. But so that is uh nineteen. The fire damage is double two. We, all right, everything's, everything's doubled. doubled. All right, so 25, 28 times two is fifty six damage. I don't get the uh, the electricity or sonic. Boosh! He's like ah. He doesn't seem to care. He's like ah. Do fifty six points of damage. 26, you hit. Or flanking. Yep. And that it. one is not crits. So that's 21 plus 3, 24. Ah, 
And that's, I'm out of action. Shoot, I actually could have hit with the bow if that's the case. Oh, yeah, well. you could have. That was the that was the case. Tuggy, you're up. These guys are easy. All right, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Are you moving? Yeah. You are you going after the caster? Oh, well, yeah. attack of opportunity. Sure. Oh, oh baby. No. He hits you. Take 22 points of damage. I basically use two moves to get there. And the second move, I'm doing the double slice. So at the end of my movement, I will... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let me recount that. One. Ah, I'll, I'll go there. And just attack him uh, with the Mangosh. Okay. And that's 26. You attack the Spellcaster. Well, he ain't in a battle frenzy. He easily dodges uh -huh. this. He's not a normal Spellcaster. And Rapier, one. 27. Oh, no. Dougie. I'm done. Easily misses. Yep. Dougie, Dougie fall back. Poison Eater. 5, 10, 15, 20. He doesn't even care. He's not even going for flanking. He's just running up to Dougie. Sees you there. He's like, stand back. We need you alive. And he mauls Dougie. 28. It's actually 29 because it's a plus one. Because you're a battle frenzy. That's a miss. miss. Wait, is Dougie's character oh. on, on the other guy? A 19. I think it's a critical miss. Doug, your character's on the guy. No, he's not. He's no, I'm, not. I'm south he's of not. him. Oh, he's not. Jonas. Moved? Oh, he moved? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You guys are fine. Jonas. Wait, where's the caster? I don't see him anymore. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey, he's, he's up there. Jonas Flackfatter just looks at this, and he just smiles all along. And he decides you have 20 feet of rope, right? Yes. Five, ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. Well, oh, I, I wish I had an attack of opportunity. <laughs> well, when I took custody of him, I, I'm, I'm keeping him close. I oh. took that slack out of there. Okay. But like that, that twenty. That twenty was when Lomang was tied to him. I'm, it's a I'm tied. A little I'm, retroactive there. Well, no. Well, I, I, I'm sorry if that. I'm sorry that that wasn't clear. But that that's absolutely what I was doing. Oh, okay, I, I, that's I was... absolutely fair. So in that case, he's gonna do. Let's see. This is. Okay. All he's gonna do when he's up. He is going to try to trip you, Gomez. Okay. And that's all he does. Uh, and that is, he just has, and he does it very nonchalant. Like it's, you know, like uh, Three Stooges. He's just like, do, 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 click. Try to trip you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he rolls a 27. <laughs> it's against your reflex, DC. What's your reflex save? Yeah, let's see. It's your reflex plus 10, basically. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll just to see what it. Oh no! Wait, I have my character sheet. Wait. Reflex Your flex is ought to be good. twenty-one. It's actually my best. It's actually my best save. Oh, 21. So thirty-one. Believe it or not, he still almost did it. He fails, and you're just like, hi, up. And he just is like, me, moi. And he just tries it again. That's actually a thirty-three, and he succeeds. And he doesn't get a negative five for that? He does get a negative five. Okay. He fails. You're completely right, John. Yeah. And he's like, mm, and then he tries one more time. <laughs> a negative ten. I like his reactions. Oops, oops, oops. And he fails again. He's just like, doo, doo, doo. he's like playing footsie <laughs> with uh, Gomez. Like, They're doing like, jump rope. <laughs> he's just like, he's just being very nonchalant. I, I, I'm not up on these new dance steps. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what he's doing. <laughs> and then Poison Eater runs to Lomang crazily and then attacks you with his maul. Oh, that's a miss. That's I'm using my miss. crane flutter on his second attack. Crane Flutter. I'll stick to Crane Kung Fu. Hey! Yeah, you have to press the button. And he goes again. Yes. Oh! He misses. He misses because of your Crane so, Flutter. It's actually a 34. But he's still... Oh, no. 34, 35. What's your AC? 35. Oh, he does hit. He, those are all plus oh, no, one. No, 30, 30, 33. It is 35. Yeah, well, it's because he gets plus two. So he does hit you. Mm. Sorry, because all these are plus one. Just remember, because yeah, yeah, yeah. when they're in, I, I just didn't do it. Sorry. Then it's actually battle. So he just barely hits you. 
Actually, he does, he does, wait, he doesn't get flanking, though. Oh, because you're, what level are you? Because they're lower level than Because I'm than level you? 12, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're lower level than you. So he rolls a 34, and your AC's 35, so he misses. He misses. Ooh. Just, oh, you lawyered it. Good job. I lawyered it. And here's you my did. counter strike. My counter strike. Your counter strike, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you can counter strike. <laughs> He's got a bad lawyer for this one. Okay. This is at minus two. Yeah, that's fine. He's so easy to hit. Oh, you you not only that, you credit him. <laughs> you credit him. Nice. I love he charged right up and got punched right in the face. <laughs> I said like, no ah! sneak attack there. He takes 42 damage. No, no sneak and none of the other stuff. Basil's nice. up. <laughs> These guys aren't so bad. I'm going to drop my bow, draw my sword cane. That's one action. It's like the frenzy gives them huge bonuses, but it also makes them really weak. <laughs> Step up into flanking. And I don't have a third action, so I'm just going to have to... Or I, I don't have enough factions for a stratagem, so I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Okay. Oh, Ooh. lordy lord. Nat 20 crit, thank you. But I only get the 10... I don't get the precision. So it's a mere so. 20 points of damage. And the bleeding, so... But that'll be on their turn. Oh, but it's double. That's and it'll be the D. D12 for yes, bleeding. That's yeah. right. How do you not get precision damage with a natural crit? Because I didn't do... Because I didn't do the devise a stratagem. Yeah, oh. it's it's just the way his character. Okay, works. I think you're done. Yep, that was Gomez. It. You're up. You're scared. Eh. You're scared. Yeah, I want to do something cool, but it's not it's not as cool as I thought. Eh, eh, I'll worry about it later. I do yell out as a free action that Gomez, maybe tie your rope to the bars that are there. Tie my rope to the bars that are there. The bars to the north. You could t tie it in like two actions, probably. And tie him there. Well, we want to move him out. I don't know. That, that's not. I'm not that concerned about that. Move him out like a doggy. Uh, how do I actually? How do I want to proceed? This is kind of interesting. What do I want to do? Hmm. Haste. I wish I could heighten it. Ah, eh, you know what? I'm gonna do what I was gonna do anyway. We'll see what happens. So I am going to give him some slack and step away. I will move. <laughs> you're like after footsie. You're like eh, maybe yeah. I should be standing next to him. Yeah, yeah. I'll 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 move over here. I'll move. So so I got five foot. So I got a five foot square between yep. him and me, and I'm yep. south. Yep. And I'm gonna cast a spell anyway. We'll see what happens. The spell is repulsion. Oh, well, what's that do? I tell you, you manifest an order an aura that prevents creatures from approaching you. When casting the spell, you can make the area any radius you choose up to 40 feet. A creature must attempt a will save if it's within the area when you cast a spell or as soon as it enters the area while the spell is in effect. Once a creature has attempted to save, it uses the same result for that casting of repulsion. It lasts a minute, so it's like you want you save once and then that, that's what it is. Okay, press uh, the button. Any, Let's see. Any restrictions on a creature's movement apply only if it voluntarily moves toward you. For example, if you move toward closer to the creature, it doesn't need to move away. And so the idea here is I got him on a tether and he's at five foot, but uh, if he fails to save, he's not going to be able to m come closer and mess with me. And uh, these other jokers in the fight, likewise, uh, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the emanation 40 feet, and so and if any of them want to move closer to me, that save will control that. Yes, but it's minus two the DC because you're fine. Friends. Keep that in mind. So press the button. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's uh, all right, but it, it's like they save against my whatever my DC is, right? It's against yeah, it's whatever your DC is. Save throws a 29 now. You manifest, so let's see. You can make it any radius. So how big is the radius going to be? 40 feet. I'll make it 40 feet. Okay. Creature must, if it's within it, and you cast. Okay, so Flak Fighter first has to do a... Does it include save? us too, or no? I think it actually does include you, guys. Yes, it includes everyone. So give me a second. But that's okay. I'll, I'm just going to be... I'm just going to be behind you. You guys, you guys can move up. I'll move toward you. <laughs> Flak Fetter, I got to change some things on him. Okay, Flak Fetter. Uh, can you see it? He rolled a 48, but... Uh... Oh, it creates difficult terrain, more or less. Well, if, if, they fe if they succeed... Right, if you critical failure. What a no, failure. failure. Any uh... failure can't move closer to me, period. Wow, that's pretty uh, sweet. Yeah, a success, then it's difficult terrain if they try to move closer to me. Critical success, then they don't care. 
That's the kind of spell I would so take. So Flak Fatter gets a 48. You can't see it, but trust me, he did. And so he is completely unaffected. And he's like, Boo! Oh, whatever. Poison Eater. Oh, Poison Eater number one fails. So he can't move closer to you. Is that a critical failure? Yeah, so, so, he, so essentially he can't move south. Yeah, he's like he's like on that line or north. No. Yeah, he can't move south. So I'm going to put on a little... I'm going to put on this little... I'm going to put on the little head thing, the little hat. The little dunce hat. So he's like... Whoa. The other Poison Eater. Critical success. Ask for you. And Poison Eater number two. 31. Success. He's fine. But he's not fine. It's, he's... it's difficult terrain to move south. Oh, okay. It's difficult terrain, so I'll give him the little foot. Okay, Lomang and Basil, right. you need to give your saves too. It's only twenty nine though. Will save? Yep. Lomang, you're fine. Well, Critical you're, success. You're, yeah, you're. Sorry. Basil, fail. You cannot go any closer to Gomez. Sorry. You're like actually, Ew. it's just it's just a. Uh... Oh yeah, you can't. That's now cool. he's failing. Wow. Yeah. He's like he's scared. That's really he's... sweet. Wow, that's pretty powerful. That's cool. a good I spell. Uh, I, we've never seen yeah, it. Yeah. Before, which is pretty good. So it's like an AOE sanctuary spell, kind of. Kind it's like of the yeah. reverse of a sanctuary. <laughs> Except in this circumstance, everybody that I needed it to work on it failed, and everybody that I needed it did not <laughs> not work on. No, no, it failed. And, and too Hopefully, we'll make too sure it works. I have to go help Doug. He's in big trouble. All right, well, poison eater. And the other thing is, it lasts a minute. So if this ends quickly, we can trundle along. At pace, that's and true. Whatever, and, and I got and, and I can do it again too. So I don't know. The, cool. it, it's something to think about because because I was thinking like, especially if I'm holding up or holding onto this guy to keep everybody away from him would not be a bad idea too. So the poison eater who's being flanked goes high or low, low Mang. What do you want? Uh, low. You got it, low. He's gonna attack you. Maul, twenty-two. That's a miss. That is just a regular miss because you're. Oh, you don't get flanked. Critical miss. No, he's. Yep. Oh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 21 miss. Doesn't matter. 25 miss. He tries to attack you. It's actually 26. They're all misses. He's like, ah! My kung fu! <laughs> yes. Urbank Muscle. Yeah, critical misses don't usually matter unless you have some ability that takes advantage of them. You're trying to attack him? Who? You, you're trying to attack him. He's like, "There's evidence of me doing nothing, actually." Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, and consider it, Doug. Mm-hmm. Consider on your turn focusing on the guys near us because those guys would have to make saves to get within forty feet of us. Oh, whatever. I, I, I don't. I'm, I, I've already moved two turns up to to go north. I'm not gonna come back down. <laughs> oh my god! You want to see what he's gonna do? Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be great. It's going to be funny as hell. Are you ready? Are you ready to see the fun? The fun that never ends? I'm ready. Really? Yes. It should be. All right, watch this. This is what he's going to do. First, he's going to walk around, Dougie. As if I were invisible. Because <laughs> you basically I don't are. even need my invisible cloak. <laughs> I'm that much of a threat to this guy. Because... <laughs> He can. I mean, that's the beautiful thing. He's just like 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 25. There we go. He's a little bit close to everybody. I tried, guys. And then he casts a spell. And do you know what the spell is going to do? Let's do the beam, shall we? Oh, Watch lightning bolt or something. Nice. Uh, <laughs> well, at least he got his own, guys. Oh, it's going. 50 foot line! Poison Eater, Lomang, Poison Eater, Basil. All of you are going to get hit by this thing. What is it? Oh, baby. It's your favorite Shadow Blast. Oh, no. Oh, it's not even all that bad. It is a 50 foot line. It does 5d8 damage. Oh man, and I rolled an 18. That's a horrible roll. That is a horrible roll. That is as bad as it gets. We got to save. Actually, half. 20 is the average, so. Yeah, um, but still. It, it sounds yeah, cool that's pretty well. sounds low. Yeah, that's... I know. It should have been more fun. But that's okay. He doesn't get any pluses because I'm looking at plus zeros in that formula. I, could, I see zero plus zero. Yeah, it's just okay. 5d8. That's all, right. all he gets. And you can either do a reflex or a will saving throw. It's up to you. I will do a will saving throw. Okay. 
And this damage is going to be, you take no damage. I take no damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Basil, you're all 36. Stop doing so well! You take half damage, so you take a whopping nine points of sonic damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sonic is the rarest one to counter. Almost no one has it. And then they will do their reflex saves, the poison eater. Poison eater number one. Oh, critical. Oh my god. Critical success. And not so much. And he takes 18 points of damage. And there's a free action. He screams out, Umidi, get in here. Oh my god. And then <laughs> Poison Eater goes. And he's like, he's like, ah, I I can't go any further south, Mr. Flakfata. I can't. It's like an invisible wall! I can't! And then he, he attacks Lomang because he can't seem to go south. And he misses Lomang. Can they not attack south, too? They, they just can't move. Oh. Look at that. Is that just... Look at that. It just misses. Look at that. Wow. That's the martial arts. The crane kung fu. Critical misses. Misses. They're just missing left and right. Lomang, you're surrounded. And no Answer, one's hitting you. No, no it. one's hitting I you. I love it. What is going on? You're out. Oh, oh man, I want my. You don't even know what to do. There's so many people. You're like. Well, I do know. I need to do this first. As 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 the <laughs> as the electricity crackles with the fire on my body, and things are going to have to pay now. Uh, I kind of want the flanking, but you know what? I'm going to forego the flanking. I'm attacking the one to the southwest. Uh, okay. Now we're talking. Ah, You're attacking the one the southwest? The one that's guy. yellow, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's a crit. Okay, so 12, 14, 34, 68 damage. Still going. Ow, huh? that hurt me! Uh, it hurts! It. Let's the hit, pain! Hit it again. The pain! Is that a crit? That is just a regular hit. Uh, right. That is, yeah. So 12... Uh, 16 and 15 is 31 damage. Ah! Eliminated. Flakfighter's like, oh, that's a shame. It's two actions. And I, I, I'm not thrilled with these guys casting spells, so I move. Hello. How do you move? They can do attacks of opportunity on they you. They cannot. As long as I move half my movement, they cannot. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. You move up to the spell cast. Uh. Yes. Hello. That was an excellent feat to take, by the way. That, that's come up so often now. Yeah. It's well. It's it's, it's part of being. Uh, I think it's just part of being. Oh, right. oh no! It's a feat. You're right. Yeah. It is a good one. It's a rogue feat. Okay. I think Dougie probably has it too. Maybe not. You go. Are you done? I'm done. Dougie, you're up. You got one poison eater in front of you. Everyone left you. Everyone ran away. Look at that, look at that, Dougie. I, I got a target there for you. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything to me now. I'm going to go a Mongosh on the Poison Eater. 26. 26. Is that you hit. Hit? Oh yes. my god, I hit him. 10 damage. You guys are easy to hit. And a Rapier. That's 34. No. You crit him. A crit on a 34? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't get any uh, goodies, but... No, you do. You get 28 plus 8. Well, I get the extra damage, yeah, but no, none of the applications. Okay. Why not? Oh, because they're not flat-footed. Yeah, yeah. So 28 plus 8, uh, so 36. All right, and then I am going to... Well, no, you get critical... Oh, you know, crit! Debilitation. Uh... You get that automatically. It's a port save. It's uh... a port save. Uh, yeah, he... Okay. He fails. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. These guys are low. Yeah. And he is slowed. Something like that. I don't know. You got to look that up. <laughs> DC against a slow paralyze effect. It's probably the 10 foot movement. That's fine. I'm... Oh, no. It's much worse than that. Okay. I'll look it up. But for my last. It is. I'm looking it up right now on a failure. Is it regular failure? He is slowed too. Actually, you got to look this up in the future because even if they succeed, they're slowed. Slowed too is bad. He only can use one action next turn. One action, yeah. Which yeah. means he's going to have trouble casting a spell. 
They, that's not well, a this is not caster. the spellcaster. So. I'm going to oh, do yeah. my last action. You're going to love this, Steve. Skirmish strike. So I'm going to do... He attacks. Rapier three. Probably a miss. Oh, my God. That's a hit. You hit. And then five foot step. Oh, no attacks. Suck a foo. <laughs> it's true. Poison eater goes. He's all slowed. He's like, ah, oh, you got me. And so instead he runs over to this door. Which is that door open? I can't tell. I think it is. Probably opened. <sighs> yep. You guys left that door open. Is yelling, get in here! Mm. Oh, I think we, it's a good time for the cloak of elven kind. You've been listening to Roll for Combat, Agents of Edgewatch. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at rollforcombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel at discord.rollforcombat.com.